Pisces. This is Logan Golden Thread Tarot. This is going to be a weekly reading for you for October 14th to the 20th. If you are not aware already, we do have a full moon in Aries this Thursday the 17th at 24 degrees. And the best way to work with this energy is to be fully authentic in your self-expression and that will bring in joy and passion in a way that we haven't felt it for a while. The energies have been pretty harsh. We're coming out of an eclipse season. So now things are finally starting to kind of release themselves starting on the 17th, okay? First, we'll go ahead and pull a card from the Sacred Rebel deck to identify the main theme for your week. So some of you guys are in a new job, some of you guys are in a new partnership, something new is happening where you're like, okay, I have to, yeah, focus, focus on the light, be the hunter, not the hunted, you're kind of like, I'm experiencing a new sensation where maybe you're, you're just, you're trying to see the the light in this situation right you're just like I have to focus on the positive like ensure you're focusing on the positive and not the negative this week Pisces okay what is coming through that's been good for you where are things actually working out and not focusing if you go too much into the negative you're gonna have a tough week Stay focused on what you want, on where you're going, on what makes you feel good. Keep the vibes high this week. Sorry, I don't normally say things like that, but keep the vibe high this week, okay? All right, let's go ahead and pull a card from the Secret Destiny. forgiveness hmm you're the first pile that had that this is forgiving ourselves this is forgiving other people what resentments are you holding on to in yourself and other people where do you need to let go of this like like you've been harboring a burden and it's someone that like you're mad at and like when you even if you want to write someone a letter right like writing someone a letter and apologizing to them or like resolving something through a letter if you can't communicate with somebody focus hard on forgiving yourself and forgiving others okay the energy of forgiveness not taking everything so personally either. Five cards for your general energy this week. The Magician, the Emperor in reverse, the Ten of Wands in reverse, the Chariot, and the Ten of Cups. And the Six of Wands with the Nine of Pentacles. You've had some of the best energy here, okay? So things are looking good for you this week, Pisces. You're feeling successful. You're feeling like you're being looked at in a very positive light, okay? People are seeing you as being strong and independent. Uh, quite beautiful, honestly, as well. You're being seen as someone who um, takes their time they uh, don't mind watching grass grow, right? They know that they have to put in the work to see the fruits of their labor, right? But you're feeling very successful this week, especially from the outside perspective. You're feeling like people are looking at me like I have it going on. Great. You're feeling like you're manifesting this week, right? You might not be in control of everything, but things are feeling lighter with that 10 of wands in reverse. You're like, I'm not feeling as 
burdened and especially if you're starting to forgive people like we were talking about you're not feeling as burdened by all of your problems this week so there's something new that's coming in that's making you feel like wow i'm like kind of making this happen i'm kind of like making this work i think that things are gonna start to move forward i'm regaining my strength here and i think i'm feeling like a lot of things are just working out like okay great Ten of Cups is like the ultimate happiness card, right? It's like the happily ever after, the abundance that we want. And with that magician, you're like, I'm doing it. I feel great right now. Good for you, Pisces. Good for you. We don't even have to make it that long of a reading because the energy is just fantastic. Six of Wands with the magician, with the chariot, and the Ten of Cups. Like, okay. <laughs> Three cards of advice for Pisces. Page of Cups, the world, and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, it's like taking this new beginning and loving ourselves through the process, not letting stress get to us, right? Not letting things that would normally bother us bother us. It's like you're feeling like you feel like you can express yourself like you're you're more like vulnerable in a good way you're like i can just i feel very relaxed surprisingly i feel like i, I can get things off my chest this week if there's someone you feel like you want to talk to and express how you're feeling to them there's open space for that right focus on what we're accomplishing, focus on what we've actually accomplished, focus on where we want to go and where we have been, right? And with this Queen of Swords here, this is just say what you have to say. Don't be rude. The Queen of Swords is tactful, right? She's extremely tactful. She's not in reverse here. She's not mean. She is straight, direct, to the point but she's classy about it right she's intelligent she's sharp-witted she knows who she is and she knows what she wants so great energy for you pisces okay all right i hope you have a lovely week and i will see you next time